Hey, welcome back to Cracks Country Cooking. I'm Ben. Today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful picanha roast. We're going to be using USDA Prime picanha from Wild Fork. So let's get it out of the wrapper. Let's get it out of here. As Bradley would say, pat it dry. You can trim a fat cap down if you want, or you can leave it. It's picanha, so it's gonna have a nice fat cap on it. I'll trim it down a little bit, but not much. All right, we're gonna, now we've trimmed some of the fat off, we're gonna score the fat. So now the fat cap is nice and scored. That'll allow seasoning to get down in there. It'll also help it crisp up. So we gotta look for the green, see which way it's going. It's going this way. So if you're cutting this into steaks, you wanna cut with the grain. That way when you your finished product, you're cutting across the grain. Because we're gonna cook this as a roast, sous vide, we wanna cut against the grain all the way down. So what I'd like to do is, because I know the grain's running this way, so we're gonna cut like this. What I'm gonna do is take a toothpick. That way when it's done sous vide, there's no guesswork which way the grain is running. I can pull that out, sear it, and then I'll know which way to cut it. Muscle fibers are going this way. So I'm gonna start salting the fat cap. Helps if you curl it like this to get the salt inside the cap. Some fresh pepper. Granulated garlic. Now we gotta vacuum seal it. So I always put the textured side on the opposite side of the presentation side of the meat. Put some thyme and rosemary in here and half a stick of room temperature butter. Let's press that in. Don't forget to roll the edges on the ceiling side. That way you keep it as clean as possible. Double seal as well. So we'll put this in a 125 degree sous vide bath for six to eight hours. Let's make a dipping sauce. We need half a cup of mayo, a half a cup of sour cream, a little Worcestershire sauce, just a splash. Dijon, equal parts dehydrated minced garlic and onion, and parsley. Two tablespoons of horseradish, a little salt, a little pepper. Give that a mix. We'll try that. That's pretty good. A little bit more salt. I'll put this in the fridge and let it chill. We're going to make a compound butter to go over the picanha. We need two sticks of butter melted, a quarter cup of whole grain mustard, thyme rosemary, salt pepper, and then three cloves of garlic. After six hours, throw this in the ice bath, fat side down, for five to six minutes. So a five minute ice bath will cool the outside of the meat. Take the thyme and rosemary off. Now that's nice and cold. We take that compound butter that we made and slather the outside. Don't have to use all of it but nice coating on the outside. Now we'll get our pan ready. We have the cast iron hot to sear the bottom. Now we're gonna throw this under the broiler for about five minutes. Let's uh, 
transfer that to a cutting board, let it rest for a couple minutes, and then we'll slice into it. Now we can slice it. Remember, we put that toothpick in there, so we just gotta find that toothpick. It's right here. So we'll slice it like this. That is some good looking meat right there. All right, let's try some. Now we can try it, can't wait. Look at that. Fat cap, trim it off if you want. I like a little bit of fat cap, especially picanha fat cap. It's excellent. Mm. Mm -hmm. My word, that is good. Mm -hmm. Here's one with the fat cap removed. It's so good. I like this way better than prime rib. I don't care. It's way better. Here's the horseradish sauce we made. Mm -hmm. How can you beat it? You got family coming over, friends, and the price of meat is still pretty high. You can cook a picanha as a roast. Don't cut it into steaks. The picanha roast is about half the price of a prime rib. So you get a couple of them. Uh, sous vide works perfect for this. You can put it out in a smoker. It's got the fat cap on it. You can trim that way down to nothing. You can leave the fat cap alone. It's excellent fat. Nobody is gonna complain about it. It's excellent, excellent meat. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Watch our past videos. We've got more videos coming out every week. You can follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Threads, of course, YouTube. Go to crackscountrycooking.com. we got seasonings, rubs, recipes, all sorts of stuff on there. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Festivus, whatever you do. Enjoy your friends and family. All right, it's dinner time. See ya.